so yeah, this is going to be a burn of the mana source in the best way possible. So let's read. Abby, who is the mana source's wife, made salad for lunch. The mana source got ghost chilies in his washed hands three times. Three times. Is my face currently on fire? Yes. Mitchell says, How does one with IBS eat legit ghost chilies? Wedge responds, Small slices of Scott's bonnet peppers. Not ghost, pretty standard stuff. This has to be conversation of the year material. Completely cringe. And my gosh, I can't do a better job than Wedge when it comes to saying things that do not make you look good. Abby, his wife, says, My bad, they basically look the same. Wedge says, Come on, woman, unforgivable. Mitchell says, So 15 times hotter than a habanero. Yeah, it means a good point. If you have IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, you shouldn't be eating spicy stuff. And now it gets into the very strange and incredibly strange situation that the mana source, Weds, has put himself into where he will contradict his wife two times, not just one time on the type of pepper it is, but as also to where the pepper came from. So let's continue on with this series of text. Sweet Scott's Bonnets bought them in the grocery store in the normal vegetable aisle. Not that hot. You're really stuck on this. Why? Laugh out loud. Mitchell says, I thought she grew them. Which she responded to someone else saying that she had the reason they're eating these peppers, these ghost peppers, is she grew them. So not only does she not know what peppers she's growing, she doesn't know like where it came from. Like, I think it's pretty obvious. Did you grow it or did you buy it at a supermarket? That's a pretty interesting point. So here we have, they live together. They're like right next to each other and they cannot keep their story straight. That's ridiculous. And there's no one that they can take their time. It's like one of these episodes of UK benefits and proud of it. And they just make poor decisions that they don't have to make that they could easily solve in private if they just talk to each other in their private room. Ghost chilies. That's the scariest thing I read all morning. I burnt my face with Serrano's before. Good luck on the ghost chilies. I don't like spicy stuff. However, I love growing chilies. What? These chilies came from the supermarket? Wedge loves spicy, and it certainly does make the salad more interesting. So this might seem like a small little detail to you, and you might be like, oh, this is not magic related. But remember, this guy got and wanted $150,000 of donations from the magic community because he's a trustworthy guy. Unsleeved Media is correct. Imagine expecting people to believe you have crippling irritable bowel syndrome while eating ghost peppers like candy. Come on, people. So... I don't know what to make out of this, except he just keeps shooting himself in the foot on social media. Not on sleep media, although it's questionable whether he does that or not. But this dude, the mana source, Wedge, it doesn't make any sense. This whole conversation is a summary of why I'm skeptical of his involvement in the GoFundMe, as well as his involvement in his, what was it called? It was... um, Pico Trade, Monthly Magic Box. Anytime there's been a scam in Magic the Gathering, he's been part of it and he's been promoting it. And many of you will say, oh, he's learned, he's changed, he's become a better person, now he lives in the UK. You know, I think he should stay in the UK. From all the UK TV shows I watch is as long as you have like two kids, they how the council has to give you housing benefits and food, and you live like a really good life. Like, honestly, I can understand why no one who immigrates to the UK wants to work because why would they work when they're getting paid more money not to work? So the UK makes a lot of sense for uh, Wedge. I think that was the end game, as the Avengers would say. 
you know, he explored a million possibilities and he came to the conclusion that the end game was him moving to the UK where people can live on benefits and be proud of it and even be on TV, for goodness sake. So, yeah, here we have Xander saying, an interesting study suggests that spicy food may contribute to the abdominal pain seen in IBS. All right. And then Mitchell says, irritable bowel syndrome, so he can't sit for long periods at time at a normal job, like six hours on a airplane, and also going to the airport, which takes some traveling time as well. I don't know. It's just like all these things, like if you were to treat this as a regular employee, if Wedge was an employee and then he said, oh, you know, I needed to work from home because IBS, and I'd be like, okay, cool. And then I saw photos of him traveling on an airplane. I'd be like, mm, okay, that's kind of cool. Or like his t Twitter where he's eating ghost pepper chilies. I would be like, okay, that's, that's a little much. And then the response. So it's never like Alex Pacini. It's not the cheat that gets him in trouble. It's the continuously lying to the judges afterwards. So let me make sure that you understand this. Most cheaters are never caught. And even if they're caught, as long as they tell the truth, they are let go of a warning. The only way that a cheater gets banned or suspended or DQ'd is if they continue to lie. And most of them do, luckily for us. And here we have, uh, we'll ha we have something uh, where he can't, the basic story, I mean, he's with this individual. He's married to this individual for a good amount of time. He's with, probably sitting with this individual, both on their phones, tweeting the same thing uh, together because he doesn't have a job. She doesn't have a job. I mean, her job was listed as playmat design maker for a local game store. Like, what does that even mean? Like, how? How? How is that a real job? But be, besides the point. But apparently, she's uh, such a big part of our YouTube community that she also gets a card to spoil. Although she has 300 subscribers. I have never got a single card to spoil. Ever. Not at 300, not 3,000, not 30,000. Because why would they give it to me? When they can give it to people as, uh, as smart and awesome as... I, I, I'm going to puke. I, f I feel like I'm eating a ghost pepper right now. But I don't have IBS, so it's okay, guys. And I didn't ask you guys for $150,000. So... And the way that Wedge responds, pretty standard stuff. Pretty standard stuff. So here we, we have him downplaying the, the original post by his wife, which we don't have any reason to doubt, was ghost peppers and face burning, and he's washing his hands three times. So this pepper is much less spicy, and why is he washing his hand? I mean, I mean, it's just so absurd that they're sitting right next to each other and they cannot keep their story straight. It's like, how, why? How did this happen? Like, is this incompetence? Is this, you know, a strategy to get more money that I don't quite see because, like, he's a master at getting more money? And now you have an apology. My bad. They basically look the same. So, okay, let's, let's go ahead and say it's not a ghost pepper. But then everything else in the story is also true, right? He's washing his hands. It's very spicy. He's crying. Like, should this guy be eating spicy food at all? I think the point of this, which was poorly, uh, it was very poorly ex executed, was to his donators that he's eating a salad. But to spice it up, he made up a story about ghost peppers. I don't think there was any peppers involved at all. Because the man source is also talking about going to a grocery store. No. No, I don't believe that. I need to see pictures. Proof. And shopping at the produce aisle. Not the frozen food aisle. Guys, come on. What part of the story is the least believable? Well, anyway, let's go on with the story. So the point is to tell his subscribers that thank you for donating all this money and now I'm eating salad and I have health insurance at the UK and I'll be on an episode of Benefits and Proud soon. You know, you know, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what's going on here. It's someone who elaborates and makes a big deal of nothing. The 
all he had needed to do was say that he was eating a salad. Do I believe that he was eating a salad? No, because I know that he would attach a picture of said salad. That's what Wedge is, right? The same reason that many of you tell me that Wedge has said that he's voted. Okay, wouldn't he show that? Like, so a lot of times you ask, oh, does Wedge need to show a health insurance card? Does he need it? No, he doesn't need to, but he does every single time that he has something. Whenever he's buying a mythic thing, you can be sure that he'll have a screenshot of it. Whenever he's buying this or that, like he screenshots it all the time because it's super easy and it gives him more bragging rights. So this is a brag gone terribly wrong, right? He wants to tell his subscribers that he's eating salad and being healthy and exercising, which is playing Pokemon Go and doing raids. Let me tell you, standing, yeah, standing is probably exercise for some people. But my goodness, like, that's not how you're supposed to play Pokemon. You're supposed to walk around. And, you know, he never shows, like, the distance that he walked, right? The Pokemon Little Meter. The Adventure Tracker, I think they renamed it. But he only shows himself at, like, raids. And it's like, dude, a raid is, like, the least efficient way, the least healthy way to play Pokemon Go. So anyway, in short, there's a lot of things that are wrong with this post. And I think it's made by someone who's not eating a salad, who did not go to the grocery store to buy hot peppers, as he said. And who's, I think his wife is probably right. She grew ghost chili peppers. She put them in a salad. And the man of source rubbed them on his hands because that sounds like something he would want to do. And then it got really spicy. And then suddenly, you know, people uh, said, oh, what about IBS? And he said, oh, I would forgot I had it. You're right. I shouldn't be eating spicy food. So in conclusion, this is just a summary of everything I have a problem with him about is just that if you're going to lie about it, at least make sure that your subscribers are not like, at least don't treat them like idiots. Like at least come up with a better lie. Like the UK benefits and proud of it and take it pay or we take it away. Like the lies that they talk about, especially when they're like, are you sure and sure, so and so? And the person's like, uh, no. And then there was an episode where the friend's like, hey, Mitchell. Like, are you Mitchell uh, Mitchell uh, Brown? And Mitchell Brown would be like, no, that's not me. I have never heard of him. And then like Mitchell's friend would be like, hey, Mitchell Brown, are they looking for you? Are they causing trouble? Like, at least make sure that like it's plausible, that like it can make sense in some realm. A lot of the stuff does not make sense because if a simple discussion of, on a salad has multiple contradictions in it. How did it pepper? Was it from a grocery store? Was it bought? Did the manager smear it on his face or hands for no reason? Did he wash his hands three times because they were so hot? Was it spicy or not spicy? Was there even a salad to begin with? Man, I mean... That's insane. That is insane. That that's really really difficult to do. Uh, is to logically just every single detail about this salad <laughs> has to be questioned. Right? Imagine this being a police interrogation. The police would put the guy in jail so fast cuz he would but they would kind of trust a word he was saying. Now I would love to know what happens when you move to the UK after having a large insurance. Do you get to keep your Patreon money and then also default on your insurance uh, payments? Let's see. Let us see. I mean, gosh. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of the kid in... Um, the, I, I did orientation at NYU. I did 14 orientation groups. And there's always one kid in every group who thinks that he's the hype. And he'll just like lie through his mouth. And it'll be like so obvious that everyone's like, all right, we're, we're going to like nod our heads, not in approval, but just so that you stop talking. Anyway, bye guys.